And I got my toes on too. I'm not gonna show you my toes because what are you doing? Anyways. <laughs> Don't don't let nobody and do not let your mind convince you otherwise because it will because it's been trying to do it to me. my channel if you're new here my name is Najaya stay a while we a vibe anyways so today's video is pretty much me trying to get my goddamn life together okay um lately <clears throat> I have not been taking the best care of myself and not in the sense of like health wise I've been having this desire to like revamp my wardrobe and like you know my, my physical appearance like and put more of an effort into my physical appearance and i used to feel very like vain and shallow for thinking these things of like getting my hair done getting my nails done my toes done it's like you know i could just do something at home like i always like talk myself out of it and i did have a conversation with my therapist about this recently <sighs> but I really like feel like so many times I have told myself like I couldn't do something because it's not important like especially when it comes to taking care of myself physically like getting my nails done and stuff like that so I already got my nails done super cute right uh let me show you guys these are super cute my aunt had the them for me I found it on Pinterest um, I'll, you know, put the picture on the screen, but like, I am so obsessed. And I got my toes on too. I'm not gonna show you my toes because what are you doing? Anyways, but, um, yeah, so I decided that I'm not going to do that anymore. I decided that I am going to actually do the things that I want to do for myself physically. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but like, I'm going to put more effort into like my physical appearance and to making sure that I physically look like you know good because you always say when you look good you feel good you know what i mean so my sister will be doing my hair tomorrow i mean I wash my hair and then i'm gonna get my hair done tomorrow um i cannot wait to see how it looks because it's just a style that i have not done before and i wanted to try it out um and i want to see how it looks but i'm excited because like it's been a minute since i got my hair done and it's just like doing my hair i was like getting really frustrated doing my own hair because it's like so much i contemplate cutting it off all the time after i wash my hair and i blow dry my hair i had just bought a lash extension kit from amazon i've been seeing it literally on my for you page on tiktok for so long so long and i was like mm, i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it but i always like talk myself out of actually getting it so I was like, you know what? We're getting it. And I got it. So we'll be doing my lash extensions for the first time. So if it comes out looking crazy, don't judge me. But I'm going to try to do my lash extensions for by myself as well. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's going to come out so freaking cute. But at the same time, I don't know. Because it's going to be my first time doing it. And I'm so scared. And y'all know that like, I'm a major perfectionist so if it doesn't come out right the first time good i'm gonna lose my mind and i gotta show you guys these um these new outfits that i bought ah. okay. next day day two getting my life together i'm about to do the lashes i'm hoping that it comes out good no promises but Let's hope. If I don't get it right, I'm gonna cry.
Y'all, look at this. Oh my god, it don't look that much different, but it does look a little bit fuller. Y'all, I'm officially a DIY girly. Period. All right, I'm gonna do the other side. The finished looks, guys. What do you think? I did it myself. I'm so obsessed with it. I did it myself. So today, I'm getting my hair done. look what do you guys think i think she's cute <laughs> i think she's cute i like it um it's definitely different than i normally would wear uh style I normally would wear but i still like it um i'd be afraid sometimes to do hair stuff like this because i feel like my head is like huge but i'm obsessed good morning y'all I think it's like <clears throat> two days later, um, a, a day or two later. But today is Wednesday. No, today's Tuesday, thirteenth, and I'm currently working from home. I love that for me. There's currently a snowstorm happening outside. Currently snowing hard. But today I'm working from home and right now I'm having breakfast. Um, and I am having kimchi soup, basically. Um, stew kimchi with rice and I have some dumplings. I think there's like beef and something else. Spicy beef but dumplings. Oh my God, I love these. These are so good. But yeah, so... I thought I'd come on here since, you know, our breakfast. And we could just chat a little bit. Hold on. I'm trying to learn the importance of pouring into myself. To me, not only... I thought only, like, you need, would need to pour into yourself in my head and in my thought process. I thought the only way that mattered most was that I would emotionally pour into myself. Which, it is important. It's very, very, very important. But I didn't understand until recently that pouring into myself physically is also a thing as well like making sure i eat the right food and making sure that you know i get my hair done to as a, as a form of self-care my nails done also as a form of self-care and basically like i really just didn't think that it was important and i didn't realize until like recently how important that was to me um, because I did know, I do notice that when I look good, I feel good. Like, honestly speaking, when my hair is done, I don't got nothing to worry about. I wake up in the morning, I'm ready to go, I feel good. And then same goes with my outfits. When my nails done, when my nails are done, I feel cute. I feel pretty. I feel feminine. When my outfits is outfitting, 
I feel good. And I realized that that's also as just as important as making sure that I am emotionally pouring into myself and spiritually pouring into myself. And it's just like, it's hard being that I grew up not really caring about my my physical appearance and like those things not being an important factor in my life. It was mostly just make sure your bills are paid and make sure everybody else is good. That's basically how I grew up. Not saying that there's anything wrong with that. It's just that in my season in life, it's not serving me anymore. Though that mindset is not doing me any good. It's actually doing me harm. So I'm trying to learn the balance of this. And it's very hard. And with all things that are new, it's going to be hard. And I'm always trying to like remind myself of that. And I think I'm going to start doing this again. I used to, uh, every month I used to like get facials and stuff like that. And then I stopped doing that. Um, I don't even remember why. <laughs> honestly don't like i used to go every month faithfully last year and like well around um like for like months a couple months last year like i was consistent with it and i felt good you know to get my face clean and stuff like that to you know take care of my looks and stuff so it's just like i don't know i've been having god has been like putting the desire in my heart to really pour into myself physically and um I'm learning to do that because I really have a hard time really spending money on myself unless it's like food um mostly food <laughs> realistically it's mostly food that's the only thing that I can say that does not have to do with like my house or like anything like that that's just for me would be my food like that's the only thing I don't have a problem spending money on my excuse always was the money portion of everything so I decided okay what am I what can I do to eliminate the excuses that I will make to myself decided that I'm gonna start getting in my DIY girly bag realistically speaking right this whole process that I did with my hair my nails my lashes I actually had to take them off because your girl didn't know you weren't supposed to wash your face <laughs> I think you're supposed to wait like 24 hours after you put your lashes in to wash your face, some, some things started coming off. So I had to just, I just took them all off and then I'm gonna do them um, again tonight after I do my nightly skincare, period. Um, <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, like my lashes I paid from Amazon and they were like, I'm gonna say 20 bucks, if that. And then I got my hair done for free because my sister, shout out to my sisters, love y'all. My sisters did my hair free. Auntie did my nails. Shout out to Auntie. Free. Like, you know, like I'm 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 trying to eliminate all all of the excuses that I would normally put myself. Like obviously I'm not gonna have the ability to constantly get my hair done for free and my nails done for free. Not everyone has that capacity. But you do what you can. Honestly speaking, I don't feel like I wanna get braids every 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 month or like every time I want to do my hair so I decided I'm gonna invest in a wig which I'm gonna take you on that journey as well because <laughs> having a wig is so I feel like convenient but I want to try the glueless wigs but then again you know I'll be scared because my head is like huge my head is my head there's no reason for me to have an excuse now no reason and honestly I feel good like I feel great I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I feel like so good now that you know I poured into myself emotionally and spiritually enough that I can focus now on the physical part, get that in order, and then learning the balance to balance all three of those things. Yeah, all three of those things is what I feel like will be my next step. I had ordered some outfits, I think from Amazon and like pretty, not Amazon pretty little thing in fashion over one of my outfits are not gonna come until thursday which i'm not gonna be here to freaking get it and honestly that was one of the outfits i wanted to wear this weekend um because this weekend is my goddaughter's birthday and i'm going out there um tomorrow night i'm gonna be heading up to pennsylvania to be spend time with her for her birthday and also spend time with my best friend 
um, I'm not gonna have my outfit. Hopefully, fingers crossed that it comes earlier because the Fashion Nova won't fit. Because the Pretty Little Thing one was supposed to come like today. And it came like, I think the next day from, so I think last Friday. It came last Friday. So I'm like, okay. But I gotta show you guys that the outfits that I got. I'm gonna do a little haul later on today. But I just wanted to just come on here and encourage y'all like, you don't have to sit here and spend a whole shit ton of money. Excuse my language. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money on yourself to make yourself feel good. Get you a little hair. So wash your hair. Do a little your cute little your favorite hairstyle. Buy you a wig. Invest in a wig. Or if you have someone that will be able to do your hair for free or do any of these things for free for you, by all means, or at least at a cheaper price. Like it does not have to be extensive. It does not have to be extra. Like you could even just paint your nails. I'm just a little bit extra. Basically, <laughs> you deserve it. Like you, you deserve it, girl. Do not try to let your mind convince you otherwise. Obviously, do it within the means that you can, and don't sit here and, and and just overdo it. You work hard to try to connect with yourself emotionally, and that's a hard job. And to like emotionally and, and spiritually pour into yourself, that's a hard task to do. And you deserve a little bit of pampering. Uh, you deserve it, girl. Don't don't let nobody, and do not let your mind convince you otherwise, because it will. Because it's been trying to do it to me. So, I'm about to do laundry. But before I do my laundry, I do want to show you guys. Oh my god, my hair looks so cute. I do want to show you guys the outfits. Some of the outfits that I got, I clearly didn't get all of them. Hopefully, fingers crossed, at least one of them comes today. I doubt it because the snow. But either way, I want to show you guys what an outfit, a couple outfits that I got. Oh, so here's the first fit. I got this top and bottom set. I will wear my shapewear with it because bigger problems. <laughs> but um, and it comes, it's like a flare leg kind of situation. I like it. I think it's cute. The bra, I'm working on it. Uh, give me a strapless bra because this don't really be working for me um but i like it i think it's cute it's a little out of my comfort zone with the arms and i don't really do pants like this unless they're black because black seems to like suck me in well it makes me look skinnier they slimmer but i like it i think it's cute I think it's really cute and adorable. I will, we'll see how it looks when I style it together and I put things where they need to be. I don't know, like, again, I'm not used to wearing it like that, so I get a little bit self-conscious when it comes to shirts and tops like this, so. But, again, I'm trying things a little bit out of my comfort zone, so. We gotta do it. So this is um the second outfit that I got. Again, I have no shapewear on, so it looks good. It's gonna look different, but um I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, guys, I can't really make an honest decision until I get the shapewear um on so that she could tuck me in a little bit but from what i can see the overall vision i think it's cute i think it's cute and i like how the like things are like kind of over my hands i don't know why i think that's so cute um it's like a, so it's like a little longer but i like it i can i can I can crimp finesse this outfit in my head. The vision will be visioning, but I don't know where I would wear this to. Honestly, I got so many outfits that I don't even know where I would wear it to. <sighs> I don't even know where I would wear it, but I'm gonna wash these now because I gotta do laundry anyway, so. 
Um, let me know what you guys think of my outfits. What you guys think. If they're cute or if they're ugly. <laughs> Please let me know. Be honest because I be needing help. But I just don't know. I just don't know. I be needing assistance. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think of my outfits. I want, to, I want you guys feedback so much. Please help your sister out. Help your girl out. Help me out. But yeah. So I didn't get a chance to do the outfit. But this is the outfit I got. Don't look at my sock. <laughs> I got it from Fashion Nova. But this is cute. I wore it today to work. And I just wore like my white um, Fila sneakers. I want to get another pair. I think about getting another pair that is like the platform ones. I don't know why. I've been like really drawn to platform shoes. I love platform shoes. I don't know why. But yeah, I love it. It's super cute. Out of my comfort zone because I don't usually wear like pink, like bright pink colors, like bright colors in general. I don't really wear them like that because like, I don't know. I just don't think I look nice. Um, I like black because it makes me look slimmer than I am, honestly speaking. So I'm trying to get out of that comfort zone of wearing just black and like gray and stuff like that. So and really like dark colors. But this is super cute. I'm obsessed. I love it. 